Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to walk you through the process of creating some sort of UV randomizer in Maya and Arnold. This work is based on a video from Entagma that goes through the process in Blender. So this is the shading network, not simple but also not very complex. Right here we have the control for the scaling of the texture. Then we can control the blending of the tiles with a noise pattern. And we also have an option to rotate the tiles randomly. So the first step is to create a utility shader and set it to UV chords. Then you can use a multiplier so you can control the tiling of the pattern, more on that later. On the top we have a noise with a range and a multiply nodes to control the values. Then we are adding the result of the UV chords with the noise. The noise will be used to control the blending on the edges of the tiles. You can play with the noise attributes to get different results. Right here we are creating the tiling with the module node. And then we need to subtract the result from the previous network so, so we only get the effects on the edges. As you can see here, if I don't subtract the result we get the noise all over the texture. Now we're going to see the random rotation per tile setup. The first thing we need to do is to transform the values into integer values so we can get unique values per tile. For that we make a floor function with a module and a subtract node. I found that this to work properly you need to add some contrast here to get the unique values. Then with the AI random set to color and grayscale we get the values for our rotation. Finally, we need to set the range between 0 and 360 degrees and add an extra range node to have some sort of seed value. Right here we have the scale control. I am using a matrix transform to control the rotation and scale of the UVs. You can see here how these two nodes connect out value of the matrix transform to the matrix of the matrix multiply vector. In the end I am doing a color conversion so, so I can connect the output to the loaded image. So here we have a grass texture that we want to tile. If I use a UV transform to repeat it, you can clearly see the repeating pattern, doesn't look any good. Right below I have the same image node but with the network created connected to the U and V chords of the image. And this is the result of our work so far, looks much better this way. We can also change the tiling in the beginning of our graph. The same for the scale and rotation too. So this is the final graph, if you have any questions, as I went through this as an overview, you can ask in the comments. I probably made a few mistakes and this is not a perfect setup either, but I thought I would share this with you as I'm learning these more advanced setups. Ok, this is the video I talked about in the beginning, consider watching it so you can recreate this setup by yourself. Pretty cool stuff from the Antagma guys. Thank you and let me know if you found this video useful. Take care, bye bye.